I, I love soccer, and I want to play in college very badly, but I also want an, a good education. And so I think they can go hand in hand. I mean, you go to a big D1 school and you go there to play soccer, you're big and you're fast and you're extremely skilled, like out of this world skilled kind of. And I, yeah, I want to play in college and, but I'm realistic about it. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go pro, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make my life about it because the truth is, I mean, I probably won't, but I enjoy the game so much and I don't want to give it up yet. I want to keep playing and I can see my life in college. You know, I love having that team and I'll go to college and I'll have that team around me and it'll be awesome. And academics at the same time, I've learned to balance it. So that's what I can see myself doing and I want to do. I love competition. I love getting intense and in your face and I like to win too, but I know that doesn't happen all the time. Um, but, and it's always so much better when you have that, when you do win, when you have the joy to share with your teammates because you got there together. It's love of the game, I guess, that makes it, pa it's loving what you do that makes people passionate, I guess. And I, it's, I don't know, it's almost just being like completely like stripped down, you know, like, when you're competing and it's a really intense game, you really see who people are and you really see who steps up and you see the people who get too heated and get in fist fights or you see the people who can remain, remain composed or on the other side you see the people who don't really care at all. But I think it's just that completely like stripped down being who you are in like that intense moment where you can't really hide it is where the passion comes from, because I guess it's just part of me. Playing on a soccer team is not just about skill. I mean, there's people who you like to play with, and there's people who you really dislike to play with because they're not, I mean, it's not that, it's more than just being a fun person. It's being like someone you can rely on, and I like to be that person, I think, reliable. Um, I personally have realized that I lead by example, like mostly, just because, I mean, there's so many things you could say and do, but the truth is if you don't go out there and actually do it and set an example, it's just pointless and everyone's gonna look at you and be like, well, what credit does she have? She's not, you know, she's preaching, but she's not filling whatever she's preaching. So I always go out there try to work as hard as I can and I don't I don't like to complain because I don't like when people complain to me <laughs> and I don't I don't believe in you know yelling at my teammates to hey do this well you know constructive criticism I've learned because I've been criticized before and it's different when someone points their finger at you and say it's your fault this and this but it's the other side when someone says hey you did this really good but you can do it better you know and so that's what I try to do for my teammates. There were, I mean, we had freshmen on our varsity team and like, I think I feel like I saw myself in one of the freshman girls on our team, how, you know, hey, I'm in varsity as a freshman and uh, I'm really cool. So <laughs> it's really hard to, and I know for a fact that it's hard to get through the thick skull. And so I would try and, you know, I was like, I was tough on her and I think, you know, because I knew that one day she could be great. I mean, there's a couple people on the team that I know I wasn't successful with, but I, I think, I mean, I've crossed paths with people in my life where I think I've made them think and they've learned and I gave them respect and they didn't give it back and I trusted them, but they broke that trust and things like that have happened, but I don't just take it sitting down. That year in particular, actually, we, um, our keeper tore ACL. We lost other crucial players to injuries. And so I had to step up and play keeper, which I haven't played since I was about 12. And we won state that year. It was just something that had to be done. Like I had to take the step forward and be like, all right, I'll play, I'll play keeper even though. And so I didn't really think about it too much. And the fact that it's like, 
I didn't weigh the costs and the benefits, really. I just did it. It was weird because I was keeper and the odds were completely against us, but it, the hardship kind of made us stronger as a team and we rose up in one state and that was a really cool moment. I like to work hard and I feel like the things that I'm most passionate about, you know, I'm never quite good enough for and I'm always striving to be better. And I guess that's just part of um, the things you love most about life is that you know that you can always be better. And with music, I'm, you know, I'm always striving to get to the next level. I'm, you know, I'll take three choirs this semester just because I can and I want to. And I want to take on directing and jazz choir and choral music. And then soccer, you know, I want to step up and play fall ball and, you know, hopefully, and then get elected captain. And like, I mean, I love just going on runs, like, working hard and like just by myself sometimes. I don't really need, I've never needed that outside motivation really. I kind of have the inner for grades and athletics and music and it's all just kind of, I've learned to motivate myself from within. That's kind of me. I don't like to leave blank spots. I don't, I like to complete things. And you know, sometimes it's kind of, I like to have control of things around me, but it's not like, obsessive where it's just like I have to dominate this and this and this it's more of like I see what needs to be done and I get it done and I don't do it with half a heart you know if there's something that needs to be done I put myself forth and do it get it done I enjoy English and history I'm that side of the <laughs> <laughs> education <laughs> spectrum I mean there's the math and science which it fascinates me but not as much as writing and you know learning about history and but mostly i love to write and anything that can help me be a better writer i realized is valuable information for me i i picture my life you know i'm going to provide myself provide for myself and i'm going to provide for myself well and i'm not going to be reliant on other people i'm going to count on my education and my goals to get me to where I want to. I can't define myself one word because I think <laughs> of it in such a bigger perspective. Like, and it's hard to sit down and be like, okay, this is who I am, want me, you know? But I, I mean, I promise that in the end, you know, I'll be the one you can count on.